All right, let's go. Look at this kingfish sashimi. <laughs> oh man, I just got smoked on the avid. Oh, we're on! Nice fish! Oh, woo -hoo -hoo! Smoked on the gog! Smoked! Oh, big fish! That is gonna be a big king! Oh yeah, this fish has some shoulders. Oh, that was aggressive, guys. Being just in the water with your fish, it, I mean, being at eye level is just so sick. Oh no, it's a king. It's a king. Yep. It's right here. I just got first sight of it. Oh, he saw the kayak and full lift. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, usually when they see the kayak for the first time, uh -huh. they say peace. <laughs> oh, he's pretty good king. Yeah. Oh, he's bigger than I thought he was. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think the GoPro might be a little wet. Holy <laughs> 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 oh, shit, dude. That's bigger than 15, dude. Yeah, That's a 20 yes. plus king, baby. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice. Dude, I thought you were going over. <laughs> <laughs> I knew when I stumbled. Oh man. Wow. Sick, dude. Sick, sick, <laughs> sick cat. Sick. Almost Fucking awesome, man. <laughs> oh, the god got smoked. Come on, come back. Come back. There we go. On. It's another king. Yep. Just swam straight at me. Very green king. Oh, that's <laughs> going now. Nice. All right, here we go. Another king, got your king limit. Yeah, All right, beautiful. Another king to end the day. It's this king limit right here. Nice little seven, eight pounder there. Beautiful fish. One for the grill, for sure. <laughs> that's a good one for the grill. What's going on guys, Victor here, and in today's Catch and Cook, we are cooking up king mackerel, otherwise known as kingfish, and a lot of people turn their head away from this so-called trash fish. It is by no means a trash fish, but there's a common misconception that these fish are not very good to eat, and especially when it comes to sushi grade fish or uh, sashimi, which I'm going to be preparing the kingfish in two ways. You just guys see me cutting it into long strips, that is for the sushi rolls, and now I'm cutting it into uh, little slices, that is going to be for the sashimi portion of this dish. Something you may have noticed as I'm cutting up the kingfish is that it is not very firm, which is not really ideal for sushi, but that doesn't mean you can't make it into sushi. The next step for our sushi is of course making the rice. So I'm measuring out some rice and uh, whenever you make rice you gotta clean it. So as you guys see here I'm rinsing it out with some water and as that water goes from cloudy to clear that's when you know that it has been cleaned thoroughly. As you see our water is pretty damn clear now so now it's time to bring this guy up to a boil and after he boils reduce the heat to low and I think it's about 30 minutes for it to cook all the way through and then you fluff it up. Now I will be making two sauces for our sushi rolls. The first being eel sauce, and I absolutely love eel sauce, and eel sauce is actually something very easy that you guys can make. 
on your own at home and it's only three ingredients which is soy sauce, mirin, and sugar. And that was one third cup of mirin, one third cup of soy sauce, and then three tablespoons of sugar. Mix it all up. And then one key thing is you gotta bring this up to a boil, as you guys see here, and then reduce the heat to low, otherwise it will burn. And then stuff it in the fridge, and then just watch it thicken up. The next sauce is spicy mayonnaise, which is actually very easy, and if you guys have ever had a spicy tuna roll, this is basically the sauce that you use. And all it is is mayonnaise and sriracha, and you guys can make it as hot or as mild as you want. And as you guys watch this video, keep in mind, I am no sushi expert, I am not a real chef. I just love to cook and I like experimenting in the kitchen. So next step for our sushi rolls is avocado. I'm gonna cut these guys up into long strips. I'm also cutting up a cucumber here and if I could give you guys any advice in my little sushi knowledge it is you got to make sure that your uh, proportions and the length of any vegetables or ingredients you put in your rolls is right around the length of the roll itself. And we got some cucumber slices for garnish for our sashimi. What you guys see here is nori. This is the seaweed that you actually put your fish and your ingredients in. And then it really helps to have one of these little um, bamboo mats, I guess you could say. I know people wrap it without these, but definitely helps to have these. And then I like to put a piece of tin foil or wax paper on top of it because it prevents you from getting a big mess. Now, I was actually running out of time working on other parts of this dish, so my girlfriend Brooke popped in and decided to roll the rolls for me, and she is much better at rolling than I am. She has way more experience, so all you gotta do is, uh, well, one huge tip is definitely keep your fingers wet because it will prevent the rice from sticking. It is very sticky, and uh, you saw that she just spread that rice all around, and she's actually doing an inside out roll, so she's putting some sesame seeds there, and she decided to take her fish out and put it back in. You guys will see right here, right now. Now you guys will see Brooke put some saran wrap on top of the roll and this makes it so much easier to actually cut the rolls itself. And the thicker that you make the sections, they tend to fall apart less too. So I'd say about two inch sections. Now this is the part of the dish that is probably going to freak out a lot of you and it is the sashimi portion, the raw kingfish. This is raw fish on the plate right here and most people would never dare eat raw kingfish. But we're not most people and we are here to change the game and that is why I'm doing these catch and cooks to show you guys to not be afraid and to get out of your comfort zone. To go along with our sushi, our sashimi, and our pan sear fish, I wanted to throw some veggies in there, brighten up the dish, and uh, give it a little crisp. So we have some red bell peppers, we have some green bell peppers, I'm going to julienne them, that's how you pronounce it. Another thing with these catch and cooks guys is I'm not just making them just to make the video. I really do want to get better at cooking and I want you guys to see my progression through these videos. That's why I'm trying new techniques. I'm trying to learn, you know, sharpen up my knife skills because it is all in the game of life is just getting better and better and better. And cooking is seriously one of the best things you guys could ever learn in life. I cut up my onions into long strips and then I have some garlic, crushed it up. I think I'd used about four cloves of garlic and I turn my oil very, very hot in my wok because I'm going to stir fry these. I'm going to cook these very fast, try to get them um, crispy and just get all those flavors together. And one thing that I love is these rice noodles. I've, um, I've always had them in restaurants, but I've never made them myself. So I just decided to go to the market, pick it up. And lastly, I'm just adding some snow peas in here. And to make the actual sauce, all I did was some soy, and this is all eyeball, no exact measurements, some rice vinegar, and some Thai sweet chili sauce. Here's a little preview of the rolls that Babe whipped up. Have you guys ever had your fish prepared in a way where the skin is just so crispy and good? Well, that's exactly what I wanted to do with this kingfish. And what you guys see me doing is scoring the skin, and I looked it up. When you pan sear fish, you definitely want to score the skin because it will prevent the fish from uh, kind of folding up on itself when it hits the heat and so it doesn't just shrivel up. Um, I poured some olive oil on these guys, some salt, black pepper, kept it very, very simple. And now in my pan, my pan was actually smoking. You want your oil smoking and you slowly lower them into that pan. And you guys will see me uh, press them down on the spatula. That's prevent that fish from folding up on itself and I kind of just rotated from side to side. I cooked it two thirds 
on the skin side down because you really want that skin to get crispy. That's where you want most of your heat and cooking to come from. And you guys look at that, it's so beautiful. That just makes me excited looking at that. It was so good to eat, but you guys got to experience it for yourselves. Okay guys, whoever said kingfish was a trash fish obviously doesn't know how to prepare it. Look at this kingfish sashimi, which all, we're all about to taste test, and I'm promising you guys it is gonna be awesome. I've already tried it, my family has yet to try it. Look at that. We have a bunch of different rolls. Thank goodness Brooke was here because I was on a big time crunch and she helped me out a lot. But we got all sorts of different rolls. We have avocado, cucumber, sriracha. And then I whipped up a stir fry right here. I went to my local oriental market, trying to get out of my comfort zone. I got snow peas, red bell peppers, green bell peppers. I mean, we did the whole shebang. Homemade eel sauce right there, homemade spicy mayo. And this is what I've really, really, really been trying to master and I finally got it right. I did a, a pan seared crispy fish skin. This is the kingfish skin right here and it is crispy and it is exactly what I wanted. So now everyone's gonna dig in and I'll let you guys know if it tastes as good as it looks. You guys, I know I say all the time that the dishes come out great, but seriously, this is hands down my favorite way I have ever made fish. And it's so funny because people throw back kingfish. People think they're trash fish. YouTube and Catch and Cooks and this whole game has taught me to never believe what anyone says ever again. With the crispy skin, it is so good. You get a nice um, coat on the outside. You cook it two thirds on the way on the skin side. You flip it over and all the juices get sealed in. Simple, all I did was salt, pepper, butter, and lemon. Seriously, to die for. Cheers to you guys. This is another crazy thing. Nobody would ever in their right mind think to make sashimi or sushi out of kingfish. Well, guess what? We did both. There is a sushi roll wrapped by my girlfriend, Brooke. And here is a little sashimi with a little bit of jalapeno on top. And I'm gonna dip it in some eel sauce I'm gonna show you guys that this stuff is is not only good, but actually really good. You would never, ever know it's kingfish. I could blindfold you, bring you to this table right now, and you would never in a million years guess that that was kingfish. I'd say judging by Brooke's plate and the fact that it's empty, what do you think? Do we have a banger? <laughs> it was really, really good. I mean, a lot of people turn their noses up to kingfish, which honestly we used to. Yep. And now that we're kind of like expanding the things that we like to try and we're trying new things. I mean, it's not like we were ever afraid of trying kingfish, but everyone always talks so bad about it. So, I mean, we smoke it and we make kingfish dip out of it and that's great. And we've cooked it on the grill like first day a lot, but we've never thought about making sushi out of it. And it was honestly really good. You had no idea it was kingfish didn't taste like anything fishy. It tasted like any other white fish and sushi and it was really good. And if you think about it, this was like hundred hundreds of dollars worth of sushi. You get one sushi roll for like, what, $10 at a restaurant? Oh yeah, easily. And we made six or seven, we have sashimi. And then I am not a skin on the fish still kind of girl, but that was actually good. Surprisingly, I actually liked that, so that was good. And the um, pan seared fish. Yeah. Excellent. Very, very good. And then that's been in the fridge for three days. I mean, great. You couldn't tell. And it was kingfish. <laughs> so don't knock it until you try it. I think that was very good, babe. That was, that was a good outro. So seriously, guys, question, comment, thought. I used to be an arrogant little prick when I was growing up and thought, you know, oh, kingfish, that's a trash fish, blue runners, all that stuff. You don't know until you try. We just made a, a freaking gourmet meal out of kingfish. Mm -hmm. So seriously guys, open up your minds. I've opened up my mind and that's what these kitchen cooks are all about. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that sub button if you guys like this video. Please make sure to hit that sub button to Brooke as well, my girlfriend. Our links will be in the description box below as well as the end screen somewhere here. And until that next video, I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. Yeah.